reports. I conclude. Thank you. Thank you, <coughs> Manni Ajit Kumar ji. Uh, Manni Harshvardhan Singh, Dungarpur. Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir, for allowing me to speak. Sir, the Dam Safety Bill 2019 is an excellent proposal by our Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi ji, and our Minister for Jal Shakti, Shri Gajendra Singh ji Shekhawat, and the Ministry of Jal Shakti, sir. Sir, the Dam Safety Bill is basically to set up a uniform safety system and standards for all specified dams across the country, sir. Sir, uh, there are about 450 dams are under construction and 5,500 large dams are there in the country. So the more important part is that about 295 dams are more than 300 years old. Sir. Sorry, 100 years old. So that is a pre-independence era, sir. And I just want to bring it to the notice to the House that most of these dams were built by the former princely rulers of the respective states, sir. And these dams are still providing uh, water supply to a lot of people even today and with very solid construction done so long ago. And uh, a few examples, as uh, some of the speakers before me mentioned, Travancore, even Mysore, where one example is the Krishna Raj Sagar Dam, and some dams, say, in Udaipur. And uh, not only that, these dams are also providing opportunities for tourism. So dam safety is also important. So even in my town of uh, Dungapur, today the water supply comes from a dam built by my grandfather uh, pre-independence. So just to mention a few examples of that, sir. Sir, even today there's no seepage in those dams and the structure is solid. Some dams, say about uh, 1,050 dams were built about 50 years ago, sir. So this bill is more so important today because of global warming, change in climatic patterns, and change in, change in weather patterns. So, sir, what is happening, as we are seeing even today, in Tamil Nadu and other places, there has been very heavy rains and sudden <coughs> bursts of heavy rain. So, with this, keeping this in mind, this bill is all the more important that we look into national dam safety and the, the authority would be called the National Dam Safety Authority. And the bill also has made provision for an obligation upon every owner of a specified dam to establish operational maintenance set up to ensure continued safety of such dams. And so, so the uh, national uh, NDS, NDSA has been set up, sir, for that. So, another important part of this bill is to analyze causes of major dam failures and suggesting changes in dam safety practices, sir. So the bill, however, has received uh, criticism from a few members of this House and some people who allege that the bill attempts to encroach upon the rights of states in the guise of dam safety. Sir, our Honorable Minister Gajan Singh Shekhawat said that the bill was needed since most states in the country have not prepared an emergency action plan. That's a very important point. And there are security concerns. Mere operational maintenance is not adequate. We need to avert disasters like the one happened in Kerala last year. And responding to concerns of the opposition, members said, these are, so the minister said, these are your dams and your water and your power. The power share will remain the same. And so the operation and management of these dams, it is just that the new committee would supervise the safety of these dams for the purpose of national security to avert disasters. So it is very important to know that the center is not interfering in the states whatsoever. Wherever there is a disaster, 
don't forget that the central assistance is sought and the, sensor, uh, the Prime Minister provides central assistance to mitigate the disaster, sir. Sir, a very important part of this bill is the emergency action plan and disaster management. This, I feel, is a very important section because whenever there's an emergency, there's not much time to mitigate the disasters. So the dams above 30 meters, so they will have a, a seismological station which will keep a close watch. Then there's also a proposal to establish a well-designed hydrometeorological network for inflow forecasting system. This is a very important part of the bill. And another important part of the bill is to establish an emergency flood warning system for the probable flood affected areas downstream. So it is all about inflow and downstream. So looking into all these facts, it is very important if there's very heavy rains overnight and suddenly the gates have to be opened. So we need an early warning system and to warn the people downstream also. So install a sci such scientific and technical instruments which are invented or adopted from time to time for the purpose of ensuring dam safety and the life property of the people downstream. So it will be constantly monitored to upgrade your instruments and various methods. Sir. So every owner of a specified dam for each dam shall carry out risk management studies and such interval as may be specified by regulations and the first such study shall be made within five years. That's what mentioned in the bill, sir, but I would request the Honorable Minister that I feel that this period of five years should be reduced to two years. We, we need to do it earlier. So there are laws for safety of even small, small things like the lift that we go up and down or your workshop. So why not, the, uh, why not we have this bill and laws for safety of dams, which is uh, such a large uh, superstructure. So in the end, I would just like to say that it is better to be safe than sorry. And with that, I support the bill and our Prime Thank Minister. You. Thank you. Manni Abdul Wahab Honorable Abdul Wahab.